One of the biggest goals that we have for The Force Unleashed is to re-envision The Force. To really grab the concept of The Force like you saw in the movies and take it so amped up and out of control that it works really well in a video game, making you feel like the most badass Jedi in the universe. A perfect example is lightning. When you actually see The Apprentice totally amped up in lightning, not only does it go purple and crazy, but he can actually nuke many, many guys, more than you've ever seen in a movie before. In the same manner, we can use the Force grip, for example. Instead of just gripping a, an X-Wing like you saw in Dagobah, we really amped up the power to the point where the Apprentice can actually pick up many objects at the same time. And then if he wants to, he can actually throw lightning at them. And so now they're all charged up like a cannonball. And each one of these experiences just really elevates the action of the Force that's really well represented in this kind of medium. My favorite part of the combat for the Force Unleashed 2 is that the sabers actually matter. You now carry two instead of one. And not only does that look impressive because you have twice as much weaponry as you used to, but it really allowed us to evolve the combat system and the way you interact with the enemies. The number of hits you're able to achieve on a given target are obviously much faster now with being able to do two hits. We also be able to do a dual lightsaber throw. We've added the ability to do dismemberment. Um, you're able to decapitate guys now. The changes that we made to the lightsaber really lend a lot more to the realism and immersion that the player will experience in the game. It's not just like a baseball bat. It's really going to be much more like what Star Wars fans have seen in the movies. We've also added some unique um, force powers that didn't exist before. We have a brand new force power in the game, which is sort of an unleashed version of Jedi Mind Trick. We've sort of reimagined it for the Unleashed franchise. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. We took it to the next level. You basically get a trooper and you turn him into your ally, and what he'll do is he'll turn around to attack other troopers. They actually might get so confused that they'll try to commit suicide. I can't do this anymore! They go so crazy, you can actually have them go into a bunch of other troopers and explode and they all just fly into the air because it's basically a bomb. So another way that we really expose the amped up, out of control force powers, the reimagining, re-envisioning the force is with Force Fury. All of your powers go, if they were 10, now they're 100. For example, you can actually grab ATSTs and crush them into a ball and then use lightning against them and turn that into a cannonball that you can throw against other enemies. Or you can use another power that we call Force Repulse. When you let it go, it literally disintegrates all the guys and turns them into vapor. With this Force Fury mode, they really give this new definition to what it feels to be unleashed in the game. Another feature that we really worked on to improve the interaction with the world is the combat system from a uh, perspective of targeting. Our targeting system has been cleaned up so that as you play through it, the choices that you have to grip things or to target things or to throw things is much more accurate than it used to be. That tied with a much more improved camera really allows you to interact with the environments and with the enemy setups. We wanted to make sure that enemies that you fought mattered. We've specifically designed enemies not only to have very different visual characteristics, but also we've designed very specific units to have resistances to saber combat. We have units that have very specific resistances to force powers. As you progress and become more and more powerful, you will find more and more powerful enemies. For example, the Gorog, this big ape monster type creature that you have to use very specific force powers in order to defeat. Another one to note, is this big titan spider four-legged creature that very much attacks you in ways that are very different than the Gorog, so you have to use different force powers to defeat him. It's amazingly fun to actually grab the force and play with it like it's never been done before.